some properties of square numbers. So the first property is P1. Okay, let me put it as P1. Now if you see all these square numbers at the units place, what do I notice? I have 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, again 6, then I have again 9, then I have again 4, then I have 1, and I have 0. Now you may continue this with any number of square numbers, but you have to, what you will notice is that at the units place, the units place, any square number will have 0. I will just remove this or I will just put this in another order. 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. So, if a number is a square number, then at the units place, it is bound to have any of these digits. Now, this does not mean that all number which have the units place as one of these numbers are square numbers. So, let us say, suppose I have 31. Is 31 a square number? I see it from this list. These are the natural numbers. We have 25 and we have 36, but 31 falls between these two numbers. And going by the earlier video there where I clarified, 31 is not a natural, uh, not a square number because there is no natural number between 5 and 6. No natural number x whose square is equal to 31. So therefore, 31 is not a square number. But at the units place, 31 has 1 and 1 is one of these digits. So, the mere fact that a number has the following number at units place does not mean that it is a square number. But yes, if a number has other numbers which is 2, here, 3, here, then between here you get 7, you get 8 again here. So, if a number has 2, 3, 7 or 8 in units place, then it is definitely not a square number. I mean by no chance can 33, 37, 38 or 88, all these numbers because their units place contains 3, 7, 8, these can never be natural numbers. I mean I, you do not even need to go and do this exercise to understand if these are natural numbers. 33 again as we see here falls between these two numbers, 37 again falls here, 88 falls between these two numbers. So, these are not square numbers. So, any number whose unit place, if unit place is equal to these number, it cannot be a, cannot be a square number. So, this is the first rule of square numbers property. Now, let me take you to, to the second square number. Okay. Let me just increase this to 11, 12 and so on. So, square of 11. I am not putting here the 11, 12 and all. The square of 11 is equal to 120, 12 is equal to 144, 13 is equal to 169, 14 
is equal to 196, 15, 225, 16, 256, 17, 289, 18, 3, 2, 4, 19, 3, 6, 1, 20, 400. Okay, so now we move on to property 2. The property 2 is that we know that there is a square of 1 is equal to 1 and square of 11 is equal to 121. Similarly, square of 9 is equal to 81 and square of 19 is equal to 361. So, the second property which comes out is that if the units place as 1 or 9 as unit or rather I do not need to put then if, if units place as 1 or 9 then the square has to end in 1. This is actually fairly simple because suppose you have square of 1. Now 1 into 1 is always equal to 1. 9 into 9 because in any case when you multiply 19 by 9, 9 into 9 is equal to 81. So if you add 19 into 19, basically you do this 19 into 19. 9 times 9 gives you 81, 1, 8 carry. So 9 and 1, 17, right? Now here you will always get a cross because of which the sum is always going to have 1 in the the multiple has to always have 1 in the units place. So this gives you 19. Okay, 9 nines are 81, 1, 8 carry 9. 1 into 19 gives you 19. So 9 and 7 gives you 6, 1 carry 361. This has to be 1. So if the number has 1 or 9 in units place, then the square has to have 1 or 1 sorry not or 1 in the units place you put in 19 you put in 29 into 29 you put 39 into 39 in all the cases the number will end with 1 so these are some of the kinds of checks and balances that you have as you kind of compute the square numbers which you can if you remember that makes it easier for you to understand whether or not whether or not the answers are correct